Hey friends, welcome to USMLE team. Today I'm going to talk about measles, mumps, rubella vaccination. This is very important topic for discussion. Right now I'm covering topics on USMLE CK and USMLE step 3. So this is very important topic for your examination. Before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends about our channel. Our channel name is All of None Vlog. Okay guys, let me start with this. The MMR vaccination adult born before 1957 generally are considered immune to measles and the mumps. So remember this point before 1957. That's very important. All adults born in 1957 or later should have documentation of one or more doses of MMR vaccine unless they have a medical contraindication to a vaccine or laboratory evidence of immunity to each of the three diseases that is measles, mumps and the rubella. Documentation of the provider diagnosed disease is a not considered acceptable evidence of immunity for measles, mumps and the rubella. The measles component a routine second dose of MMR vaccine administered a minimum of 28 days after the first dose and is recommended for adults who are students in post-secondary educational institutions, those who work in healthy health care facilities, and those who plan to travel internationally. Persons who receive inactivated as a killed measles vaccine or measles vaccine of unknown type during 1963 to 1967 should be revaccinated with two doses of MMR. Mumps component. A routine second dose of MMR vaccine administered a minimum of 28 days after the first dose is recommended for adults who are students in a post-secondary educational institution, work in health care facilities and are plan to travel internationally. Persons who vaccinated before 1979 with either a killed mumps vaccine or a mumps vaccine of unknown type who are at high risk for mumps infection should be considered for revaccination with two doses of MMR vaccine. Those are example a person who are working in a healthcare facilities. Anybody who is working in healthcare facilities is risk for infections, so he should get the shots from all the vaccines. Rubella component For women of a childbearing age, regardless of a birth year, rubella immunity should be determined. If there is no evidence of immunity, women who are not pregnant should be vaccinated. Pregnant women who do not have evidence of immunity should receive MMR vaccine upon completion or a termination of pregnancy and before a discharge from a healthcare facility. The HCP, that is a healthcare provider born before 1957. For unvaccinated healthcare personnel uh, born before 1957 who lack laboratory evidence of measles, mumps or rubella immunity or a laboratory confirmation of the disease, healthcare facilities should consider vaccinating personnel with two doses of MMR vaccine at appropriate interval for measles and the mumps or one dose of MMR vaccine for rubella. Hey guys, I'm done with the topic on MMR vaccination this is very important topic replay and uh, if you have anything any feedback please tell us thank you so much for watching my video take